Hello and welcome to the garage. In this video, we are going to discuss the options for charging and exactly how long each kind of charging option will take to charge your electric vehicle. And I'm hoping the information that I'm going to supply today will be helpful in you either purchasing an electric vehicle or charging your electric vehicle. Let's look at a few examples here on the size of electric vehicle chargers, but in terms of cell phone chargers. You have a cell phone, probably a smartphone like this, perhaps a flip phone, and I think it's probably time to upgrade, but we'll cover that at another video. So the smartphone does all kinds of stuff for you and you have to keep it charged on a daily basis. You go home at night, you plug it in all night while you're sleeping, you get up in the morning and guess what? Your cell phone is 100% charged and ready for the day. Electric vehicle is very much like this cell phone. You plug it in at night, it charges up overnight, you get in it and you drive it all day. But let's talk a little bit about the different sizes of chargers, which tell us how fast this cell phone will charge. And the same applies to electric vehicle chargers. Let's have a look here. In this example, this is a standard cell phone here. This cell phone is a five watt charger. It all comes generally with most cell phone manufacturers included. Uh, it plugs into the bottom and it charges the cell phone slowly. It's five watts, it may take 12 hours to charge the cell phone. So the smaller five watt cell phone charger is the same as a level one AC charger. And I'll tell you about that here in a bit. This 12 and a half watt cell phone charger off of an iPad will charge this much, much faster at almost two and a half times the rate of this small uh, charger. This one is equivalent to a level two charger. And we'll talk about that. Or you get to the big Mac Daddy. This particular charger is 10 times bigger than this guy and will charge the phone 10 times faster. This is equivalent to a DC fast charger in speed. So as you know, you plug your cell phone into this guy, takes a long time to charge. You plug it into here, certainly it charges faster, but you plug it into this baby and it'll charge up in probably about an hour. So that is really the size difference between level one charging, level two charging, and DC fast charging. That hopefully will give you some idea of the difference between the different styles of chargers for your electric vehicle. Let's have a look at the mobile connector that's included with every electric vehicle. Different looking, yes, each manufacturer has a different look to it. We're gonna have a look at a Tesla mobile connector and I'll show you the difference between level one, level two, types of chargers that charge the electric vehicle. So let's now have a look at the mobile connector that Tesla supplies with their electric vehicle. The mobile connector here is a device that will plug into the car. The car has a uh, hatch that opens. You push in this button here. The hatch opens up, you insert the charge handle into the car. On the other end of the mobile connector is a box, and this box will accept different kinds of plugs. Depending upon your electrical circuit, this happens to be for 120 volts AC. If you're in Europe, this would be a Shuku plug and it has a uh, appropriate adapter that will plug into the mobile connector and simply stick it in and there we go. We're hooked up. Now to activate this, pretty simple. You take a 120 volt circuit or a Shuku plug if you're in Europe and you plug it into the 
provided plug here. And if you watch on the mobile connector, it flashes Tesla and now it's ready to plug into the car. It's that simple. The mobile connector is supplied with each car. Now this particular connection can be level one or level two. Now what the heck's the difference? Well, it has to do with the amount of available power from the AC plug in your wall. This one is a 1450, 240 volt, 50 amp plug. It has the same plug on the mobile connector. So let's unplug this. I'll unplug the 110, 20 volt connection, plug it in and guess what? I now have a level two plug that will charge the car at at least twice or three times faster than this plug here. And so your first question is, is why? Well, the available power at this circuit is 2200 watts. It's enough to charge the car at say three or four miles for every hour of charge. That's why they call it level one. It plugs into a standard 120 volt outlet or a 240 volt or to make that 220 volt outlet in Europe, a Shuku plug that allows you to plug it into your standard wall outlet at your house. And that is called level one charging because of the amount of available power out of this circuit. Level two power, I can have 50 amps at 240 volts on this plug. And I can charge my car at probably 28 to 30 miles for every hour of charging. That is level two power. Typically level two is 220, 240 volts. Uh, in Europe, they'll use three phase. In North America, we usually use single phase 240. Uh, but the adapter will change to plug into European or regular style outlets. I think there's even an adapter uh, for the mobile connector here that plugs into 400 volt three phase, that's 22 kilowatts. But this mobile connector will only supply 32 amps max at 240 volts. I know that's a whole pile of numbers and all that stuff, but let's just say we go with miles per hour charged. In this case, we'll get three to five miles per hour of charge, depending upon the 120 volt circuit that you're plugged into. This one, we will get anywhere from 28 to 32 miles per hour of charge at 240 at 32 amps. And this is considered level two. So that is what comes with your car. Admittedly, this level one is really kind of an overnight charge. You may get 20 to 30 miles overnight. It's not designed for traveling, it's designed for charging your car. And it's the same idea as this small five watt charger for your cell phone. You can't plug your cell phone into this thing and leave in an hour because it just won't charge. The same holds true with your electric vehicle on level one. There's no way you can charge your car using this amount of power in hour. It just won't happen. So keep that in mind, the relationship. Small charger, longer time. The level two charging now is similar to this 12 and a half watt charger for your cell phone. I plug my cell phone into this, the cell phone's gonna charge much faster, maybe three hours, four hours, but I can't just plug it in and leave right away because there's just not enough power in this charger block for my cell phone. Same with level two in your car. It charges your car much faster but it's gonna take hours to get a full charge versus minutes on the DC fast charger. So now let's have a look at the high power charger. This 125 watt charger will charge this phone to maybe an hour. So if I come home and I need to charge my cell phone, 
really quick. Should I use this little dinky guy? Should I use the medium size guy? Or do you want to use the big fast guy so that I can charge the car quickly? The DC fast chargers that you'll find at normal DC fast charging locations will charge your car very quickly, very much like this charger does to this cell phone. Let's talk about the first way how you're going to be using your electric car. You're going to be charging it at home. In the morning, it's ready to go. You get in the car, you do your errands, you go to the store, you go to the bank, you go to the post office, you come home, you plug it in overnight and the car is ready to go. Number two is you're going to be using this car to commute to work. So you'll charge it overnight, you'll drive to work, you'll do your stuff at work, you'll head home and plug it in overnight and you'll be ready to go in the morning. Number three is you're going to be needing to go to another city. You've got the kids in the car, you're going to go visit Aunt Mabel. You load them up, you get in your electric car, it's charged from overnight, and you head off and you charge on DC fast chargers on the way. Perhaps your situation is as you live in an apartment or condo and you don't have any charging. It's okay. You charge that car either at work, you charge the car at a local DC fast charger and drive all week on that single charge, or you exclusively charge on DC fast chargers wherever you go. Any and all of that is okay in an electric car, and everybody's situation is different. Level one chargers are equivalent to this five watt charger for my cell phone. 12 to 14 hours to charge the cell phone. This 12 and a half watt charger is equivalent to an electric vehicle level two. It'll charge my cell phone in four to six hours. This big guy at 125 watts will charge my cell phone in way less than an hour big power and it's equivalent to a DC fast charger. So as you can see, the more power the charger is, the faster your electric vehicle will charge. Now you're the master of actually charging your electric car. If you choose to go to a low power charger like a level one or level two and are expecting to travel, you've got uh, some trouble because it's gonna take hours to get you down the road. If you're interested in getting down the road as quick as possible, you want to make sure that you charge on a supercharger or a DC fast charger that allow you to charge your car and get down the road as quick as possible. Once you buy your electric car, you will drive around town, drive all over the place, come home, charge it overnight, exactly how you charge your cell phone today. There's no difference. Plug the cell phone in, plug the car in. Get up in the morning, cell phone is ready to go, car is ready to go. If you have to go down the road, there's DC fast chargers along the way. Simply stop by, charge your 20 or 30 minutes and get on down the road. It makes it very, very convenient to make that happen. If you like this video, please click the like Click subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon to see more videos going forward. If you'd like to buy yourself a Tesla, the Tesla referral link is shown at the bottom of the screen that gets you 1,000 free miles or 1,500 free kilometers when you use this link. Thank you for watching. I'll look for you again and take care.